Today, we're going to look at a very interesting problem. We're going to look at how far a ball travels while it is bouncing and how long it takes for the ball to come to a rest. There are some assumptions we need to make. First is that air resistance is negligible, and second is uh, the height of each bounce is proportional to the height of the previous bounce by a factor of p. For example, if I drop a ball from 8 meters and it bounces up to 4 meters, then up to 2 meters, and 1 meter, and half meter, and so on, in this case p would be 1 half. We will then break this problem up into how far the ball travels, where we will calculate the distance the ball travels. Then we will calculate how long does the ball bounce, where we will calculate the time the ball is bouncing. After that, we will have our answer. Calculating the distance the ball travels. First, we look at each bounce. Then we will take the height of each bounce and add them all together. We'll denote the height of the ith bounce as hi. h0 is the initial height, h1 is the height of the first bounce, h2 is the height of the second bounce, and so on. Notice after the initial drop, each bounce has the ball going up and then falling back to the ground. Each bounce contributes 2 times its height, up and down. We can now write the distance the ball travels as h0 plus 2h1 plus 2h2 plus dot dot dot. By assumption, we know hi equals p times hi minus 1. This is the height of each bounce is proportional to the previous bounce. Thus, we can get that h1 is p times h0, h2 is equal to p times h1, which is equal to p times p times h0, which is p squared times h0. In general, we can write hi as p to the i times h0. Substituting this in, we get that distance is equal to h0 plus 2p times h0 plus 2p squared times h0 plus 2p cubed times h0 plus dot dot dot. We can then factor out a 2p h0 and get the following, that distance is equal to h0 plus 2p times h0, then in parentheses, 1 plus p plus p squared plus dot dot dot. We know that 1 plus p plus p squared and so on is equal to 1 over 1 minus p. This is a geometric series and p is less than 1. We can substitute that in and we can get that d is equal to h0 plus 2p h0 times 1 over 1 minus p. Now we want to combine these two expressions together. And so to do that, we'll multiply by a common denominator and we'll multiply h0 by 1 minus p over 1 minus p. Once we do that, we get that our expression is h0 minus h0 p plus 2 p h0 over 1 minus p. Simplifying this down, we get that that is equal to h0 times 1 plus p over 1 minus p, which is our distance. Just a quick example to close things out. If our initial height happens to be 5, and the proportion that the ball bounces back is 0.7, then the distance the ball travels is 5 times 1 plus 0.7 divided by 1 minus 0.7, which is 5 times 1.7 over 0.3, which happens to be 28.33 units, and in this case our units happen to be meters. So I hope that you thought this was enjoyable, and thanks for watching.